Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be do doing something a little bit different. Uh, we're going to take a look at a redstone contraption that I designed um, in snapshot 21w05b, which is the snapshot I'm currently running. Uh, it's actually the snapshot from a couple of weeks ago. So, uh, but newer snapshots don't allow you to open older worlds, and I designed this immediately after the uh, snapshot came out. So, what is it? You might be wondering. This is a copper oxidation machine. Uh, and that sounds a little wacky because you're like, well, don't, don't you just wait and it oxidizes? Um, well, yes and no. Um, so Ilmango did a very good video on uh, what actually causes copper to oxidize. Uh, I highly recommend you go check out Ilmango's video. Uh, I'm gonna put a card up in the corner. Uh, TLDR, basically, you want the copper blocks to be four blocks away from each other in order to oxidize as quickly as possible. Um, so that's actually what this does. Um, essentially, this is a way of spacing the copper blocks uh, out by four blocks um, using the powdered snow, um, which is also new in the 1.17 snapshots. Um, so yeah, using a lot of new features here and uh, it's kind of interesting and let's take a look at how it works. So down below here we have a dispenser that places the powdered snow and then a item filter down below that picks up the buckets, shoots them up this water column and we're gonna use those later. And then every four blocks here um, the copper will come across this torch and light up this line uh, and it'll have it'll place another copper block into the, the uh, row instead of snow. So that's how you end up with a copper block every four blocks. Um, and then essentially it just loops around. Uh, we, there's a row every four blocks. Um, and then as it goes along, you can see it essentially just wraps around and works its way up. Once it gets up to the top, there's this piece up here that will suck the snow back up using the dispensers and drop it back down with these hoppers down below to be reused. And this is actually where the buckets come up and they end up in these dispensers as well. So as you can see, the snow is getting picked up and you end up with a sheet of oxidized copper. And then all you have up here is a dropper with TNT. This could also be a TNT duper. Uh, and yeah, when it pushes forward, the TNT explodes it and it all ends up in this chest down here. So what are some of the downsides to this system? Well, uh, I have a bit of a confession to make. I'm running the random tick speed at 30. The standard random tick speed is three. So this is actually running 10 times faster than it would in normal, uh, circumstances. So in order to build this with a random tick speed of three, you'd probably want to build it about ten times the size of this. Um, now that's not really practical unless you're a very hardcore player who really wants a lot of uh, oxidized copper as quickly as possible. Um, but what you can do is you can load this up uh, until it's all full of non-oxidized copper and then you basically wait uh, an hour or two for all of it to oxidize and then you can load it up again and as you're loading it up again all of the oxidized copper will get blown up over here right now I'm just running this by or I'm just running this continuously by replacing this copper block with a command block here but this is where you would stand and place your copper the other issue with that is if you want to load this up the copper block here only pushes every uh, maybe 20 seconds or so. Um, so it's really, really slow to load this up. You have to stand here for quite a while. Um, now I was hoping to design a system where you could actually load it up really quickly and it would store all the blocks there and then it would slowly feed them into this. Um, but I couldn't figure out a way to do that. So if any of you out there can come up with a way to do that, that would be fantastic. Um, and you can add that onto the front here. Uh, speaking of uh, modifying this design, um, this design itself is, you know, a little bit clunky and not entirely practical. Uh, but 
I'm going to try to do a world download. Uh, and if I'm able to figure out how to do that, it'll be in the description down below. And you can actually download this and try to improve the design. Um, this is really just a proof of concept. Uh, it was an idea I came up with while watching Il Mango's video. And I wanted to test it out and see if I could figure out a good way to do this. If you enjoyed this uh, redstone proof of concept type of video, please be sure to let me know down in the comments below and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you get notified uh, when my new videos come out. And also leave a like. Um, it helps a lot. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a good one. See you later.